Before watching this video, please wear your masks because safety is your number one priority. You don't want my saliva to be just flying around your house, wouldn't you? For all you know, I could be positive. Positively gay. You know gay? Happy? Eccentric? Whatever else could it mean? Okay, that was a really stupid introduction. I just... I don't know what went through my head. I was trying to get this video to have such a very interesting introduction just so I could get your attention because teenagers' attention span is non-existent anymore. You couldn't even last for like six seconds. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means. But yeah, your attention span is really short. Okay, so today we are going to be discussing another topic. I forgot to do my intro. <music> Greetings, mere mortals. Today is another day. And today we are going to be again discussing another one of our topics. So one of our topics for this morning slash evening slash afternoon is going to be under the subject English for academic and professional purposes because this subject is your favorite subject. Hmm. We are going to be talking about one of the topics under this subject. But, 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 before that, I need to do an introduction of the lesson. An introductory lesson. An introductory part of the lesson because I gotta make this topic really interesting because this is gonna bore you to death but trust me this is a very interesting topic it's pretty interesting so I'm going to be showing you this object I was trying to actually find a very disproportionate a maliciously disfigured object but I really couldn't find one and then I ran over to one of our you know, favorite people right here. Wow. Yes, look at this. Can you see its features? Um, oh yeah, this is not a DSLR. Okay, so we have here blue eyes. Yeah, I think that's blue. Blonde. Has whiskers. Has no feet. This is PewDiePie. Felix Schalberg. So this is PewDiePie right here. You can't tell me otherwise. Blue eyes, blonde hair, no legs, PewDiePie. Okay, today we are going to be using PewDiePie as my subject for this topic. Okay, now I want you to look at PewDiePie. Now just register it in your mind that this is PewDiePie. PewDiePie cosplaying as Naruto. And he is doing an excellent job because I cannot tell a difference. Okay, so we have your PewDiePie disguising as Naruto. I want you to focus. Focus. Even if the whole camera is not focusing on the action figure. Which I find really, really annoying. Okay, so you have your PewDiePie. I want you to focus. Now, I will be showing you different angles of PewDiePie's magnificent figure okay one two ready start beautify 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 look at that booty such a beautiful booty beautiful okay now i've shown you more or less like 69 angles of beautify now the question is has the figure changed? Like, if I actually did this, can you do this? If I did this, did PewDiePie change into any character? Into any other character? No, okay. So it, I put it right here. Okay, so I put this angle right here. Has he changed? Is it still PewDiePie? Is it? Yes, it is. It's still PewDiePie. No matter what angle I put, no matter what angle you're seeing, you're still seeing PewDiePie. <laughs> so you're still seeing PewDiePie no matter what angle you're actually looking at. So for today's topic, for today's lesson, 
I, I think you want to see Cutie Pie. Today's lesson, we are actually going to be tackling about literary criticism. Now, how is this relevant to my introduction? Well, when it comes to literary criticism, you are looking at a text in different angles or in different perspective. So no matter what perspective or what angle you look at, at this certain text, the text remains the same. It's just that you are looking at it in different ways. Okay, so today we are going to be discussing about literary criticism. Now, I've already given you like the gist like the gist or the general view or a bird's eye view of what literary criticism is. Now, when we talk about literary criticism, this, this is when we are going to be looking at a text in different perspectives. Now, the reason why we are going to be looking at a text in different perspectives or in different angles is so that we can actually understand it. Now, sometimes we mistaken criticism for like a very negative term. The thing about criticism is it does not just solely surround on a very negative state. When we say criticism, this could also be implying the positive qualities of a certain thing, a certain person, or in this case, a certain text. Now, we do literary criticism so we can fully understand the context of the text. So what is literary criticism? So these are more pieces of information about literary criticism. So when we say literary criticism, it is the process of, first of all, analyzing. So when we are going to be doing literary criticism, we are analyzing a text. So when we mean by an so what do we mean by analyzing? Basically, we are going to be looking deeper into the text. We are not just going to be reading the surface area of the text. We need to understand what we are reading. And then when we say analyzation, there are actual questions coming into our minds when we are reading. We are not just reading because, hey, our teacher asked us to read, so let's just read this without understanding it. There's a difference between plain reading and analyzing evaluating evaluate evaluating so let's say for example you were asked to be a judge of a certain competition so what you are doing to the audience i mean to your contestants is that you are evaluating you are evaluating their talent so what you are doing is that you are given i you are given a criteria and you are going to be judging them you are going to be judging. So in literary criticism, you are not just going to analyze a text, but you are also going to judge the text or evaluate it. Describing, okay? Describing or interpreting the text. So when you say interpret, before you can interpret something, you have to understand it. Now, what do we mean by interpret? How do you understand? the text okay so literary criticism criticism can be based on so what are the things that we can criticize in literary criticism one work we can criticize one work of a certain author for example you can criticize a novel if you want to i mean come on who wants to criticize a thick book so you can criticize like poems most oftenly, people do criticize poems, one author's entire body of work, or the works of different authors. Now, we can also go beyond by not just comparing one, I mean, by not just criticizing one work, but we could also compare people's works. So you can use this certain author's work and this other author's work, and then you compare them. And then you use literary criticism. Okay, now we have critical analysis. Now, when we say critical analysis, the purpose of writing a critic is to, is to evaluate somebody's work. It could be a book, an essay, or even a movie, a painting. 
in order to increase the reader's understanding of it. So the reason why people do critical analysis or literary criticism is so that the other readers can understand what the text is all about. A critical analysis is subjective writing. Now, when we say subjective writing, we express our opinion. In this case, it expresses the, writer, the writer's opinion or evaluation of a text. Analysis means to break down and study the parts. Writing a critical... I'm sorry, I, the phone is blocking the text. Writing a critical analysis requires two steps. Critical reading and critical writing. So when we say critical reading, you have to read the book by word. Critical reading, you have to read it word by word. You have to analyze whatever it is you're saying because each word could be related to the other words. Okay, so if you remembered earlier in our activity when I asked you to uh, look at PewDiePie over here in different angles. Now, I've already explained what the activity was and how was it relevant to our whole topic. So basically, when you are going to be looking at a certain text in critical analysis, I mean in literary criticism, you will, you will be looking at the text in different angles. Now, these angles are what we call critical approaches to literature. So these are the criticisms that we can use in order to criticize, evaluate, or analyze the text. So we have nine. First, we have formalist criticism, biographical criticism, historical criticism, gender criticism, psychological criticism, sociological criticism, mythological criticism. It sounds so weird now to be repeating the word criticism all the time. Reader response criticism. And lastly, we have deconstructionist criticism. So, of course, I could not actually explain all these criticisms to you in one video. If I did that, this would be an hour-long video and your attention span isn't really up for that. So, I would like you to click on this playlist here so you can actually choose what criticism you would like to learn about. This would be a lot more convenient so you can actually just click on whichever criticism that you want and you can actually rewatch it all over ag all over again if you cannot understand it still. So please click this playlist if you want to choose a criticism. I mean a critical approach to learn about. And that's all for this video. Adios.